Welcome to another video, May 2024, Paper 1, Pure Maths. So in the first part, they're asking us that sigma notations are equivalent to 1 up to n, 5, r minus 3 can be written as n divided by 2, 5 to the power of 5 multiplied with n minus 1. So, apnara jara jara janen na that sigma notation er jodi ami value put kora shuru kori. So, e pura jinish ta dekhte hobe actually er kom 5 into 1 jodi 1 theke start hoyse. So, r er jaga first e 1 boshbe minus 3 then plus. Okay. Eta kaj ho chhe add kora. So, plus 5 jodi first e 1 chilo ekhon e dikhe 2 boshbe. 2 minus 3 plus. 5 into 3 minus 3 and it goes on and on sigma notation at the best part of sigma notation amadir ke j term gula di chhe hmm, a protector term basically arithmetic progression ke follow kore so amna jit dekhan teke values gula bear kore so it will be 5 multi minus 3 that would be 2 plus 10 minus 3 that would be 7 plus 10 minus 3, uh, sorry, 15 minus 3, that would be 12. Now, we will tell you that the first term is 2, second term is 7, third term is 12. So, I am the AP rules to follow. So, this is A is 2, as I can clearly see. The first term is 2. And common difference is the very good. The common difference of formula is T2 minus T1. So, here my T2 is 7 and my T1 is 2. So, I get the value of common difference as 5. এখন আমি যদি s of n ap যদি বের করি তো ফর্মুলাটা হচ্ছে n divided by 2 twice of a plus n minus 1 into d সেখানে যদি আমি লেখা শুরু করি n divided by 2 twice a এর ভ্যালু হচ্ছে 2 আমরা একটা বের করছি একটু আগে এর ভ্যালু হচ্ছে 2 plus n minus 1 into 5 so this becomes n divided by 2, 4 plus 5n minus 1, or n divided by 2, 5n, uh, this becomes 5, my bad. So 4 minus 5 is minus 1, and we have shown this. Thank you. So welcome to uh, 3b, the second part of the video. So the second part, uh, it says, Hence, otherwise, evaluate the value of this. So, in the previous video, we have successfully seen that, uh, in the previous part, actually, we have successfully seen that, uh, so this can be written as 5 or minus 3 equals to n divided by 2, 5n minus 1. We can say that, right? But here, I think, uh, we have to find the summation from the middle. Okay. So we have to create a summation uh, from we have to we will going to find the entire summation first okay from uh, you know from 1 to 60 so 60 divided by 2 5 into 60 minus 1 okay and then we are going to subtract uh, you know from this entire part we are going to subtract 30 divided by 2 all right so from 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 this entire part we are going to subtract the first first 30 terms so we are, we are going to get the summation of this the up to 31 to 60 the we are, we are going to get the, get the value of the summation of 31 to 60 if we do this so from first 60 we are going to subtract first 30 in order to get uh, last 30 okay so that's the whole idea okay so here I'm gonna put the values so it becomes 30 and minus minus 1 so this becomes 
8970 minus 2235, which is 6735. The final part, they are asking us to find the value of n. So summation of r equals to 1, n. 5r minus 3 is equals to 37. 83 and we can say this that this is uh, this is n by 2 5n minus 1 equals to 3783 all right so here i can say this as 5n square minus uh, n that is equals to this 2 multiplied with this so it becomes 7 5 6 6 so here I can say I can do the quadratic so minus 1 minus 7 5 6 6 equals to 0 and I can use the quadratic formula so n equals to minus minus 1 plus minus square root b square minus 4 into a into c 7 5 6 6 divided by 2 into 5 so here the value of n comes as 39 and the value of n comes as minus 194 by 5 but the answer should be n equals to 39 because terms cannot be negative okay so that's the end of question number three thank you so much